and welcome to Jump Mag. So we've decided to start a new series called, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> we've started a new series for p kids and teens who are trying to cook by themselves because we've noticed that a lot of cooking videos with kids are often um, the adults doing most of the work and the kids maybe get to decorate and stuff. So we've decided to start a series to help you learn how to cook with minimal help from parents or adults. So we've hopped into the kitchen. We've got our aprons on, our pot, our pot is on the stove, we've got our ingredients sitting out, our toaster's ready. Let's get going. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Simply some beans, we're using Heinz beans because we like them the best and two or three slices of toast depending on how many people you're serving. You'll also need a wooden spoon, a stove to cook your beans on and a pot. Any size will do. And last but not least you'll need a working toaster to toast your toast. toast. Toast your toast. First things first, you want to turn your stove on and put your pot um, on top. Next, open your packet of beans and slowly pour it in. Don't worry, you won't get burnt. But do make sure you're mixing them with a wooden spoon. There really is nothing to worry about. You're not going to get burnt as long as you keep your hands away from the beans. A lot of people who are starting off, um, a lot of people who are starting off cooking find it very scary, but in actual fact, it's not as scary as you think. As long as you get the timing right and you don't mess about, especially if you're a beginner, then everything should go fine. And don't worry if your meal doesn't turn out the way it said it showed on the website or recipe book because they probably no they don't probably they 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 take loads and loads of photos until they get the perfect one to put on their front cover or or website or whatever with beans it's important that you keep stirring so they don't burn at the bottom don't stir rapidly like this, otherwise you might spill them and that can hurt you. You want to stir them gently like this. My watch, I've been stirring these for about five um, and a half minutes, which is absolutely plenty. So next, you want to turn down the heat to um, about one or the lowest it can go um, so that your beans aren't boiling. Now that they're calming down a bit, you want to take your two slices of bread and bring them over to your toaster. I'm sure you all know how to toast bread. Simply slip it in the two slits and toast it down. Okay, my toast is toasted, so I'm just going over to collect it. It is lovely and I'm just going to place that in the middle of my plate. Next, for the beans, you want to carefully hold it by the handle, like this. Don't worry, you're not going to burn yourself, I promise. As long as you don't muck about. Um, and just carefully pour it on the side of the plate. 